Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with a, another review. And yes, we are taking a look at a somewhat older figure now. Um, I've s spoken about this before, but since I just cleared uh, 2,600 subscribers, thank you all, I figured I'll mention it again. Um, oftentimes, with the, the way I have to do reviews is I get figures early to try and um, get that first review out because frankly that's really the only way my view my videos now get views I don't have the subscriber base or habitual viewers that I can do a review whenever I want so with that said sometimes if I'm not the first person to review a figure that figure even though I might have it has to get pushed off to review other more current figures or I put off getting a figure until such time that it's available to me at a normal retail point that I can just get it with, without having to pay a somewhat of a markup or you know extended shipping. Such is the case with Perceptor. Now, I'm pretty sure I got this figure off of Amazon and I used gift cards, so there really was no cash out of my pocket. And unfortunately then... It just kept getting pushed off, pushed off because new figures were coming out and I can't really swamp my channel because then videos suffer in terms of views. But you know what? We're here now. We're looking at it. It's Perceptor with his Headmaster Convex. We're starting off in telescope mode and I have to say it's great to see it. This is something I thought I would never see again in my lifetime outside of re re uh, reissues of the original toy. For whatever reason, Hasbro had always said that microscope toys would not sell, and thus why we never got a fully uh, real uh, updated microscope perceptor. In the Hunt for Decepticons line, we did get a perceptor that was like some sort of half-truck, half-tank off-road type of vehicle. And, but there was a lot of issues with that figure. I actually haven't never opened it just because I heard there's like issues with the arms staying in place and all that stuff. Maybe someday when I can just review whatever I want, I might break that out just to show you. But there's plenty of reviews on that figure out there. Just as there's plenty of reviews on this figure out there since it is almost a year old or so. But as you can see, we do have his Headmaster Convex just uh, sitting there, laying there. Uh, completely underpainted, no detail whatsoever. Uh, I did not go for the Legends version of this because there really was nothing new. Uh, the only difference was it was coming with the um, uh, their version of Ramhorn, the uh, Tight Master vehicle. So whatever on that. But as you can see, the microscope does work. You can turn the knob here and the. Uh, it will go down and up, down and up. Uh, really nice. Let me just see if I can do it on this. Oh, yep. And it does work. Unfortunately, I'm not going to sit here driving myself nuts trying to shoot down into the uh, microscope part so you guys can see it. But there is this. There is also a, another mode uh, to Perceptor before we get into robot mode. And we'll take a look at that right now. And here's Perceptor's tank mode. If you remember the original Transformers toy, it actually came from the Diaclone line, and it did have, I wouldn't say it's a triple changer per se. I, you know, I, I think sometimes that term gets thrown around. This is more of a different mode. I mean, you're not doing a drastic transformation. It still looks like a telescope, but now it looks like a telescope that can also be used as a tank. Um, there is no instructions in the d directions that come with the figure to, uh, how to get into this mode. Basically what you're doing is, sw uh, swirling the, uh, swirling, turning the, uh, uh, periscope, uh, telescope barrel around. So the green part faces forward. At least that's how I do it. You're flipping out these extra green treads that were in the inside of the leg underneath the foot and then rotating the legs around. There are a set of dedicated pegs that do peg into the side of the shoulders. I should mention that they don't peg in that well in either uh, telescope or tank mode, but here you go. Now, one thing I also want to mention is that there's this whole section here that opens up in the back. Um, 
if you remember going back to Diaclone, they were four inch, three and three quarter inch figures. I think this is meant to open up like this. You can, for adjustable, for different size of figures. And I think you might be able to squeeze a three and three quarter inch figure that it just, just looks a little oversized for it. Um, if not, you can just close it up and, you know, leave it like that. But I tend to open it up all the way. So we're going to pause. We're going to go right into robot mode. If you need a transformation guide, like I said, there's plenty of other reviews out there uh, on Perceptor. I just want to give you a look, little overview of the figure. So we're going to skip over the transformation and just go into robot mode. Okay, and here's Perceptor in its robot mode, all decked out. Um, of course, I mean, there's stuff you guys probably already know. The um, barrel of the telescope does affect the head articulation. You can roll it back onto roll it back onto his back if you so desire. Uh, his rifle here does have a little bipod and can hold a Titan Master. This is a combination of its G1 and modern comic uh, warrior look, where he is a sniper. Uh, on mine, the swivels here in the legs are a little loose, but not too loose that they can't hold a uh, pose i would say that's probably due to all the hinges and the mushroom caps there um but yeah th this is great i mean this is how i remember perceptor it's a great little robot mode and uh, so yeah we'll pause and i will give you my final thoughts i guess you can say i do kind of wish i reviewed perceptor a little bit sooner just because this was a fun figure and i wish i spent more time with it but um you know, as it is, I think you can still find Perceptor online in certain locations. I think Amazon, it may not have it in stock, but third-party sellers have it, and they're not scalping the price uh, that much. I haven't checked in a while. Um, in terms of stores, I'm not sure you'll be able to find them. You might be able to find it in, like, Walgreens or those, like, Market 6 or smaller locations. But, yeah... Um, Obviously, at this point, if you wanted Perceptor, you have Perceptor. Uh, so there's really nothing I can say that's going to sway your opinion one way or the other. But, you know, if you got anything out of this review, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you haven't already, do click subscribe, even though I doubt uh, anybody watching this isn't already subscribed. I don't think I'm getting any new viewers from doing Perceptor. And, uh, yeah, so I do have two other um, older Titans Return figures I'm getting to just so I can have them filmed before we really get to the end of the line. So, thanks for watching. This is your old pal Chuck for Perceptor. We will see you next time. And I do believe I'm getting a phone call.